Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Um, so today I will share you about the summary on lecture note two. So as we di- discuss uh, the the last class previously, uh, we have uh, discussed about chapter two metal oxide semiconductors, which is MOS transistors. Uh, and a little bit about chapter 3, that chapter 3 that we have covered for complementary metal oxide semiconductor CMOS inverter because one of our lab, last week lab, is actually about the CMOS, right? So we have NMOS and PMOS, so it creates a CMOS inverter. So in, ter- in, in the chapter 2 for metal oxide semiconductor MOS transistor, we have discussed about the history of MOSFET and MOS transistor operation about the basic structure of MOS transistor how they are working in principles of MOS transistor and mode of operation so there has three mode of operation cut off mode, triode or linear mode and uh, the third one is saturation mode so we also touch about NMOS transistors how they will be uh, how the the switch model because as we know transistor is a switch or an amplifier uh, so the switch model of NMOS transistors uh, threshold voltage and about the uh, the the what we call that uh, the operation mode most of that is about operation mode so uh, today in this uh, online lectures uh, we'll be focusing on the more into the equation part so hopefully you guys can get along with these uh, lectures okay so let's remove into the the first page so in the chapter 2 we are focusing on the MOSFET so what is definition by MOSFET MOSFET is a metal oxide semiconductors field effect transistor so what is mean by field effect field effect is actually something that caused by a voltage source while for transistor is to amplify or act a switch electronic signal so by the combination of these terms something that amplify or act a switch electronic signal is caused by the voltage source okay so from here we need to know uh, the basic structures of the MOSFET so we will have a here is a gate uh, here is source sorry for the so another one is for a drain so here gate source and drain so as we know uh, for the most transistor has a three uh, three terminals that uh, function as their own for gate, drain, and source. So, uh, the gate of MOS transistor, the gate for the MOS transistor is to create an electric field that control flow of current between the source and drain. Alright, that control the flow to the source and drain. So, the, if the gate voltage is below the certain threshold voltage, no current flow if, if it's above the threshold is current flow so that's a modes of operation that we know we they have a three different types of modes of operation so we know we have in in a cmos uh, we will have a cmos we will have a nmos and pmos so both of that will be a, have a different symbols right the previous symbols that we learned previously so this uh this is a samples of the transistor symbol that we have uh the up here is a nmos uh and the below is a pmos so uh we as previous we learn about uh the, the structures or the symbol is like this one right so the, the the different uh, between the NMOS and PMOS actually we have mentioned before is about the uh, the, the the circle in the gate but if we look uh, specifically some of the questions that will be uh, come out uh, there will be a 
different type of uh, symbol so hopefully you guys will be understand uh, how how actually this this different symbol meaning so uh, one of the uh, things that i can see here the the, the symbol that going out uh, from the uh, git here is will be focused as a pmos see it will be going out going out to the source going out to the uh, substrate and for admos it will be going inside so everything that going inside we call it admos so git to the git and then source to the git and substrate to the git so hopefully you can understand the difference between nmos and pmos symbol why because in equation there will be a difference um difference uh, equation specifically for nmos and pmos so that's why please uh, take an uh, attention on the different symbols between nmos and pmos yeah so finish for the symbol so in this uh uh, lecture note two uh, there's a few terms that we must remember we must uh, understand which is a threshold voltage so what is the threshold voltage threshold voltage is often denoted as a vt or vth so this one is must be corrected uh, voltage threshold vt or vth so what is the voltage threshold voltage? It represents the voltage level at which transistor or other electronic component switches from an off state to an on state. Okay, so that's a voltage threshold. How they will be doing is allowing current to flow between its source and drain terminals for fats or between its terminal for other components like diode. So this is a general idea what is a threshold voltage and then another terms that we need to understand then we need to remember is a drain current so what is a drain current drain current is often denoted as id so id like this one id drain current so it represents the current that flow from the drain terminals from the drain terminals to the source terminal of the MOSFET when the transistor is on conducting on or conducting state the drain is current controlled by a voltage is applied to the MOSFET gate terminal so as we know the gate terminal so this is the gate is the gate so this is the previous samples that we do in our lab previously so this is a PMOS and this is a NMOS. Okay, so this is a symbols that we, we learned before and the few symbols, other symbols that we need to understand too. Okay. So let's move into the next uh, part. So uh, so this one is focusing on the graph. So if you can see here, this we will have a uh, the the theory itself shown that if we have a field effect here right field effect here so it will be initiated for the voltage gate source okay so here vgs so vgs actually allow the current uh from drain to source so we have id so there's a three variable that uh, VGS can uh, vary which is so VGS uh, the three variable is the first one is as we know ID drain current and then next one is uh, VDS and then the last one is the RDS so if we look into this uh, graph so in nmos we nmos or pmos we have three different region right so the first one we have a cut off linear and saturation so uh, from as we look here uh, 
cut off is actually uh, this one if we, if we do this is a VGS eh? VGS over time so if we look into the ID so ID is over V D S so V D S uh, during cut off so if you want to see the drain current what happened to drain current so during cut off we will there's no allowing current okay and then start to in the linear region there will be start the current can move from drain to source and then in the certain level it will be saturated okay so this is uh, for the graph for drain current but in the, the resistant part so r ds over time oh sorry this one is over time yeah? this one is over time so so resistant so during the cut off the resistance is very high then it start for uh, during the linear part so and the resistance is already dropped okay until the saturation it will it, the max the maximum uh saturation the resistance is very very low so this is the and most uh graphical that we need to understand how it actually uh, different between the uh, VGS uh, I uh, drain current and then the resistance uh, so please remember that we have a three different region cut off linear and saturation so for your work you need to identify for the PMOS so as we know PMOS is actually the invert between the NMOS so it's supposedly be invert so I want you all to find it so uh, try to fill up this uh, this part yeah so let's remove into the next slide so this is the NMOS and PMOS uh, I can see this equation that you need to remember yeah so uh as we know there's a three different mode of operation cut off linear or triode and the final one is uh, saturation so this table you should know uh yes uh, i think is is if i'm not mistaken they will be given you during your final uh, or examination the, the equation will be given but it will be not uh, focusing on uh, you know uh, defined as an nmos or pmos so you need to understand if if that equation supposedly under nmos or pmos okay so you need to understand too not just uh, relying on the uh, equation given later but you need to understand the the, the equation itself so uh, the equation used will be different between cut off linear and saturation okay so during cut off see we have two type which is we have nmos and pmos same goes to linear we have nmos and pmos same goes to saturation we have nmos and pmos so right now we'll be focusing on nmos first so as we know nmos uh, the condition for cut off is actually VGS is lower than voltage threshold. So like I said, voltage threshold is uh, can be a uh, VTH or VT. So uh, in this condition, ID will be zero. Okay. Same goes to the uh, PMOS. PMOS is less than, if VGS is less than VTH, it will be zero. So nothing to do with the equation for ID. So it's directly zero, but for linear and saturation mode, there will be a drain current. There will be having a drain current, but both of them, uh, both of the linear and saturation will be having a different uh, equation. Eh? please remember, okay. 
So if we look here, uh, for the linear for n mos, if VGS is equal or more than the voltage threshold, threshold, you will be using this equation, ID equal to K n two uh, times by VGS minus VTH, and then VDS minus VDS uh, square. Okay. For the saturation part for NMOS, so if VGS is increase or equal the uh, voltage threshold, VDS will uh, increase or equal the VGS minus voltage threshold, you will be using this uh, drain current formula or equation. Okay, so please remember the equation, specific equation is for specific condition. So don't be uh, well, what we call the clear rule, okay? Uh, you must understand that different equation is relying on the different condition. Okay, okay. So uh, actually, in in K N, uh, uh, the the formula here is referring on the this part and this part. So you can see the Kn here, Kn, Kn. What is Kn? Kn is nothing but the Kn is equal to K dash N W over L. So, uh, commonly W over L will be given. Uh, so you can uh, also with uh, K N dash. So you can find you can find by calculate uh, this this uh, equation. So you will find the Kn. So this just uh, for you for referring the uh, equation. Okay, let's we move into the uh, maybe some uh, I do for uh, make you easier to understand. So like I said uh, previously, uh, ID drain current. Okay, this is a drain current. Okay, drain current can be zero or uh not equal to zero if id uh, drain current in the in the equation given that there's an id equal to zero so directly this is cut off lah, which is vgs is uh, less than vth the drain current will be zero while if vgs is greater than vth totally id is not equal to zero so what is mean is if not equal to zero, there will be two uh, part lah. Either it's linear or saturation. Okay. So the first thing first you need to uh, during you doing to the formula or calculation, please define this part first. Okay. Either ID will be zero or ID is not equal to zero. So if ID is not equal to zero, it should be uh, either linear or saturation. Okay, both of that. So uh, if ID is equal not to zero, uh, not equal to zero, so please check either VDS is is less than VGS minus VTH. If VDS is greater than vgs minus vth it will be saturation if vds less than vgs minus vth it will be linear so this uh, formula will be used okay uh, if if greater vds is greater than vgs minus vth so this equation will be used okay so uh, this is a uh, simplified version so you can uh, understand uh, easier uh, which uh, drain current formula that you will be used okay so please uh, take note for this uh, uh, part okay so before we move into the exercise i erase this one first so, okay so please remember different uh, different condition will be having a different uh, uh, 
formula or equation okay so cut off id will be zero linear will be having a uh, specific uh, grain current and then the 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 condition of uh, saturation will be having a different uh, formula to calculate okay let's we move into the exercise okay so if it's given uh and most okay because why at most specifically i give a question for at most because uh like i said uh, we we see here at most and p most will be having a different uh, uh different equation so this if at most uh, if the, the the question given if is specifically uh saying at most it will be at most if in the they give in the uh, circuit layout or showing a symbol so please refer on the symbol so for this type of question if it given w over l is is equal to 10 over 0 0.55 and then k uh, k and dash is equal to 110 uh, micro ampere over v2 and then it's given to VGS is equal to 2 volt. Uh, VDS is equal to 2 volt. And then VT or VTH so is 0 0.7 7 volt. Okay. So you need to follow step by step so the first one so the first one because of we want to check either which condition uh, they are uh, rely on uh, first we look into the uh, which is it the cut off uh, is it in uh, the drain current is cut off or not is a cut off condition or not? We, we check is ID uh, VGS equal uh, less than VTH or not. So VGS is 2 volt and then VT is 0 0.7. So VGS is uh, is more than voltage threshold. So that's mean it, it will be ID is for sure for sure id will not equal to zero so either it uh, linear or saturation okay so after uh, this one we try to check the condition uh, either it uh, linear or saturation VGS sorry VGS minus VT is equal to volt minus by 0 0.7 volt is equal to 1.3 sorry 1.3 1.3 volt okay so if we want to check the condition vds uh, vj vgs minus vth is is more than or lower than so our vds is actually if we want to check check condition so our our vgs uh, vds is equal to to volt while vgs minus uh, vt is 1.3 so that's mean our condition is vds is more than uh, vgs vgs sorry v vgs minus vt all right because vds is 2 volt is greater than 1.3 volt so what is the condition uh, so the condition is uh set to 
duration okay so here we can check the condition is the check condition is a saturation okay so this is the first part which is uh, we want to check condition so after we check condition we need to find the id okay drain current all right okay we want to find the drain current so before i uh erase this part so let i put here uh, vg uh, vgs minus vt is equal to 1.3 volt okay so let me erase this one Okay, we already have checked the condition so now we want to find the drain current right id so id referring this uh, equation here so id is equal to k dash n times by w over l v g s minus v t v t or v t h squared times by 1 plus lambda vds okay so we have all the uh, uh, equation there we have equation we have uh, uh, w over l so we can substitute in in the equation so k over n is equal to 110 times by 10 to the power of negative 6 because of the micro so w over l is uh, 10 over 0 0.55 so vgs minus vt is actually equal to 1.3 okay this one ah uh, 1.3 uh, to the power of 2 and 1 plus lambda vds lambda vds but we don't have a lambda didn't given so if didn't given just assume that lambda is equal to zero if lambda didn't given so lambda equal to zero so that's mean it, it will be equal to zero so proceed to the calculation so here uh, you will be fine uh, the final answer is id is equal to 3.3 .3 micro ampere okay so this is the step uh, for you to find the uh, calculation for drain current okay so first after uh, the we we remind back first you check uh, uh, id equal is equal is equal uh to uh, zero or not after you know that one check either it uh linear or saturation then the final one you will find the green current so this is basically how you will uh flow to 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 find the green current okay okay so i think exercise uh, more exercise i will be giving uh, during class even uh, dr nazri will be continue but i will be even i remind her, him or i will be uh, doing in maybe help him during a lab so i can give you more exercise so hopefully uh, you can understand uh, this uh, equation and, and this graph okay this graph and this equation okay please remember uh, different uh, different operation mode uh, of operation will be have different condition uh, even different type so will be different so the equation is please check it's belong to 
what condition and what type okay so i think that that's all for our online uh, online uh, video lah video recorded for you guys so i hope uh, we will see you later thank you so much assalamualaikum